This YouTube channel is dedicated to solving Sudoku puzzles without candidates. Learn more about solving without candidates at sudokuprimer.com and find lots of other Sudoku information out there. Download free blank Sudoku grids, learn about Sudoku myths and Sudoku history, and lots more. Today we're going to see the amazing power of double row and double column elimination. This puzzle is pretty hard. We get into trouble after only five numbers, but then we use double row and double column elimination in pretty amazing ways to find numbers and get us ahead. I'm not going to explain how double row and double column elimination works, so if you don't know, uh, go to sudokuprimer.com and go to the techniques section and you'll find a write-up about it. This is puzzle number 89 from Sudoku to Go volume 118. Now I've already put in a 3 here. That's a really easy number there. Let's put in a couple of other easy numbers. Here's a 3 right here. And uh, there's a 3 here and a gate pattern right there. A 3 goes through the gate, and there's a 3 here, so we've got 3 ghost 3s, 3 there, so that is a 3 right there. All right, and with that one, we've got another gate pattern um, right here, with a 3 going through the gate and a 3 here. So one of these is a 3. With that 3 there, we can fill in this one. All right, and then um, got another easy number here, right there. That's an eight. All right, and notice right here we have a four and a five, a four and a five. So we have four five twins right here. We can't solve those yet, but we'll keep those in mind. We're gonna we're gonna use those, take advantage of those. All right, we've got a nine here, nine there, so that's a nine right there. And uh, now at this point, we've only put in, what, five numbers? And we're already pretty stuck. Well, let's see what we're missing here in row nine. We're missing one, two, four, six. One, two, four, and six. Well, notice there's a one here, a two here. So, so this is a four or a six. Now let's use both double row and double column elimination to determine what number that is. We have a four right here and a gate pattern right here with a four going through it. So we know one of these is a four. So we have four, four, four. And remember our four, five twins right here. Okay, so we have a four here, four here. Uh, that eliminates these two rows. And the four in box six has to go here or here. Okay, so now we know that the four is constrained to here. We also have a four here and a four here. So there's a four here or here. That eliminates these two columns, so that means the 4 in box 9 has to go here or here. It can't go here or here. Remember, we only had a 4 or 6 missing here. We're missing 1, 2, 4, and 6 in row 9. We have 1, 2, 4, 6 there. We know that can't be a 4, so therefore that has to be a 6. All right. And now with our with a six here, and remember our four five twins right here, a six has to go here. So that takes care of these two columns. So the six in box seven has to be here or here. With that six, we can fill in the other one right there. Fill in that one right there. All right. So there's our first example of uh, 
a double row and double column elimination. In fact, we did both of them. We have four, 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 four. So four, four, four. So we knew that couldn't be a four. And that has to be one, two, four, or six. So that eliminates that and that four and makes that a six. All right. Let's look at box eight here. We're missing two, three, seven, two, three, and seven here. So we know that that's got to be a two right there. Now we didn't need to do it, but we could have looked at here, looked at this one here, two, two. We knew that by the, with those that the two had to be in one of these three cells here. Of course, this row is almost completed, so we knew that the two goes there. But we could have used double row elimination here to, to narrow the two down to which row it's in. All right, let's look at this, this um, cell right here in box one. What are we missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's a seven or a nine right there. Now let's look at uh, <clears throat> what we know here. We've got a seven here, so we're missing three and seven. Got a seven here, so we're missing, or one of those is a seven. So that covers these two columns. So the seven in box two has to be in column five here. Let's look at, um, we've got 777 seven, seven there, but the 7 can be in any of these three right here. Okay, now let's look at, at this section right here. We've got a 7 here, so the 7 in box 7 has to go here or here. Here we've got a 7 with ghost with 4, 5 twins right here. So we know the 7 has to be here, 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 or here. So we have 7, 7, seven so we know the seven has to be here or here since that has to be a seven or a nine and the seven is constrained to this column we know that's a nine see the power of uh, double column double row elimination this i like this puzzle because it really illustrates that well all right now again We've got um, uh, let's see what we're missing here. Three, five, six, seven. So one of the um, this row is missing three, five, six, and seven. That's a five or a six, three, six or seven, five, six or seven, three, six or seven. So Trying to narrow down that row doesn't help much, but if you remember, we've got a seven here, three sevens there, and seven there. So we know the seven is constrained to column five here, so it has to be here because we've got seven, 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 and seven, seven, seven. So that is the seven there. So in that case, we use double row elimination here and double column elimination here to find that seven. All right, now we've got a five here, five here, five here. So that's a five. That makes that a five. And we've got a five there, a loner cell right there. So that five, we know that's a five right there. All right, now we can narrow a nine down to that cell right there in box two. And we've got a nine here already, so that's a nine right there. Okay, and now let's look at uh, 
let's see, box four here. We've got a nine here, nine here, so one of these is a nine. Got a nine here, nine here, so one of these is a nine. So nine, nine. Double row elimination eliminates these two rows already, so the nine has to be here or here. We've got a nine there already, so we know that is a nine right there. All right, and now this is a loner cell. It's got to be a one. And that's a one right there. All right, now we're only missing two and seven here. And uh, these are four, five twins, so we have two, seven here. There's a seven there, so that's a two, seven, two. All right, with that two, we can fill in the two and the four to complete box nine. And a four goes right there. All right, and now um, seven, seven. So that's a seven right there. Let's look at box three right now. We've got a four here. So that's a four right there. All right, and remember our four or five twins there, one of these has to be a four, so we use double row elimination here. Got a four there already, so that's a four. Okay, and then uh, Only missing one number there, and one number here. All right, and again, let's see what we're missing here. We're missing one and eight here. There's a one there, so we can. And sometimes you can see, like in this case, one of these is a one, one of these is a one, so you know that's a one, even though we had a one here. So, you know, uh, using double row elimination, we could determine that's a one also. All right, now we can fill in the six and the eight here. All right, and we've got a six left here. And now we can put in uh, three and six. There are only two numbers that are missing there. And we remember these are three, seven, so we can fill those in now. All right, uh, we're only missing a two here in this column. All right, now we've got a bunch of columns with uh, only two numbers missing. This is one and seven here, so we can fill those in. All right, so we're missing two and seven here, so we can fill those in. Uh, let's see, four and seven there. Okay, remember our four fives? We can finally solve those. All those, those twins helped us a lot, uh, finding double row and double column elimination. We used those quite a bit, even though we couldn't fill them in until now. All right, and then we're missing a six and an eight there. Let's see, six and nine there. Uh, Five and a one there, and one and nine there. We got it. 
All right. Well, uh, as you can see, the um, we used a lot of double row and double column elimination on this puzzle, and it helped us get unstuck when we when we got to a point where we couldn't find numbers very easily. And then we found this six right here, which helped us find that six. And then we used double row and double column elimination all over the place to to fill in a lot of numbers. So I think that's a pretty good example of double row and double column elimination. And uh, so I wanted to make sure that you're watching for those while you're solving puzzles because they're very powerful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.